Okay, so I had a bit of an accident yesterday where I got a big gash on my eye. So this is like your content warning if you don't like seeing that kind of stuff. Okay, so this is what it looks like. <laughs> It's kind of covered right now, so that's a good thing. So it's got a piece of gauze on it, so hopefully that like has a blurring effect and you can't really see it anyway and I don't get flagged. So in this video, I'm going to be 3D scanning my face to get an accurate model of my face and then I'm gonna design an eye patch to go over it and do some test prints to see if that'll work. Please like and subscribe if you like this kind of makeup content because I have a lot of big projects coming up. Um, but basically, this is a good opportunity for me to make an eye patch because I have been looking for eye patches and they don't even sell them. They only sell the ones that like actually stick on your face. But because this is a cut that I've got, um, I don't actually want anything to touch it. I want it to be like almost like my hand is doing now. I want it to like keep everything out for um, because if it gets infected, it's going to scar really badly. And so my biggest priority is just it not getting infected right now. So what I've actually been using is this mask and I attached some elastic to it and I can just put it on my face really gently like this and then use it like an eye patch. And I went to the grocery store like this and this old guy stopped and had a big chat to me about it. He thought it was very funny. Um, but yeah, because I don't want to get, uh, basically I want to try and like minimize the amount I move my eye because they can't stitch it because it's too close to my eye, but it is quite deep. Um, and so I really don't want it to, I want to do everything I can for it not to scar, right? It might still scar, but you know, we want to do everything. And so we don't want it to get infected. We don't want stuff to get into it. Um, and then also this like pressure on my cheek and here helps me to remember like not to raise my eyebrows when I talk and not to blink too much and stuff like that. So that's why I want an eye patch and you actually can't buy them here. I don't know, I don't know why, but whatever. I found this model on printables and it's pretty good. It's just not quite big enough. Um, it's, it's a little bit too scary for me that if I accidentally knock it cause it's hard, uh, I, you know, the worst thing would be for this, like this little edge to go into that scar and open it up again. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to design my own, um, mostly because I just like making things. Um, so this isn't like needed. It's just something I want. And I thought I could do a cool design as well. But, um, basically I want it to be more like where my hand's covering now, like quite big. So I started by 3D scanning. I downloaded the app Polycam. Um, I just Googled it and that was the first one that came up and it honestly worked perfect. It was totally free and worked exactly how I wanted. I scanned my head by myself at first and it did kind of work, but um, it kind of like smooshed half my face, which you'll see in a sec. And so I had to get my boyfriend to do it properly. And then it, we just did it first go and it was like completely fine for this use case. Um, although the models are like extremely scary and confronting, um, but you know, whatever. We've got an iPad at the end of this don't we so then i send it straight from my phone to my computer and i put it into blender and it just worked straight up um to get the scale was actually kind of hard i measured my jaw and then i made a cube that was the right millimeter width and i was like this is a terrible way to do it but let's just give it a go um and then i made this little like sphere to put like in my eye socket so that the curve could like not be touching my eye right but I wanted the edges of the mask to be kind of going with the contour of my face and then I just made a plane and subdivided it and just kind of smooshed it smooshed around the polygons until I was happy with the shape and then I went in with like the sculpting tool and I made it like smoother and more blobby like you can see here um, and honestly I just kind of was doing what I felt and I think it worked so much better than it should have given the amount of effort I put in and then I I decided just to print it to see if the scale was right or I was even on the right track at all. Okay, Jacob has just informed me that it looks like a bra pad that you put in sports bras, so I'm feeling really confident about my design. But let's give this a go. Ooh, popped up. Moment of truth, what way does it go? I have to get the model back up. Okay, so the round bit, that's at the top. <gasps> the wrong eye. Hold on, we'll see if it fits this eye. <laughs> I'm so stupid, I didn't even check if it was the right eye. Okay, okay, whatever. Let's just see and then I'll reprint it. Oh, completely perfect. So we put it on. Actually amazing. <laughs> I'm actually really happy with that. So it's gonna be on the other side. Any design preferences? I think I'll just do the smooth one again just because it's the fastest. But then I thought I could add some like cyborgy additions. So after a quick little mirror, I just printed it again to see if it would fit my eye this time. 
Okay, part two. This should be the right eye this time. Okay, the round, the round part goes here. So let's give this a go. It's perfect. Perfect. I really thought I'd have to put padding or something on it, but it's just, it's so comfortable. I think I'll be able to sleep in it because another big thing is I don't want to like touch it in my sleep. I'll upload the file if any of you want to download it. If you have any eye problems ever. This is a huge success. I'm so excited. I can't believe like first try. I'm like making a name for myself by not getting anything right on the first try. And now, look at this. So it's been a couple of days. I've been wearing this all weekend. I had to go to Sydney like immediately after I posted my last video. So I didn't get to change this at all or like do any other colors, but I think it was okay. I only got a few weird looks, but I spent the weekend visiting my brother who just got a little kitten and my best friend has two cats. And so it was really good to have like the cover up because I'm very, very allergic to cats. And it turned out totally fine. It's healing like beautifully and I probably don't really need to wear it anymore, which is good. It was so comfortable. I've slept in it every night because that was something I was concerned about is like rolling over in my sleep and like waking up with it bleeding. Um, but totally fine. Slept in it all night. Didn't, didn't bother me at all. So that was a huge success, I think. Yeah, now I'm back at home and I'm working on a couple of projects. I've got a major update for my little pet Tamagotchi app that I'm working on called Habby. Um, and that is coming out in the next couple of days. We're just working through the very final like UI things. And then I'm also working on this like mouth cover for my coffee knock box. So you like knock your coffee into like this mouth because it was really ugly before. So I'm back full steam ahead and I've got lots more projects coming and I'm going to try and make a YouTube video, like a long form one showing the start to finish of all of my projects. So I would really love it if you followed along, if you're interested in that kind of thing. And thank you so much for watching. I just figured out I could put my hair over it and I probably would have looked way better all weekend, but instead, instead I look like this. Thanks guys. See ya.